You're watching KMGH-TV, Colorado 7. And now, live from Denver, this is Colorado 7 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. An Arapahoe County mother claims the social services system has abandoned her daughter and put her in danger. For nearly three years, the mother says the system has ignored her daughter's stories of alleged sexual abuse by the father. Now, Julie Hayden has investigated the mother's claim and joins us now. Julie? Well, then this is an alarming case. For nearly three years, a little girl has been telling her mother, her babysitter, her doctors, therapists, even police, stories about what she called her father's bad touches. And the mother says in three years, social services has never gotten to the bottom of why the little girl is saying this. And the mother says you'll be shocked to hear where the little girl is tonight. Now, to protect the child's identity, we are concealing people's faces and are not using their real names. And some of you may find parts of this story disturbing. started in 1989 when Sarah was just two years old. Her mother put a tape recorder by the little girl's bed to record the cries. Sarah's babysitter heard them too while the little girl napped at daycare. She'd be screaming, Daddy, don't, Daddy, don't, and I don't want to. And she was telling me that uh, Daddy touched her in the vagina. He used his fingers. And she would take her tongue and wiggle her tongue. And Daddy did this. For the next three years, Sarah's cries for help continued. Her mother taped this conversation when Sarah was three. What is the up and down, up and down? He said that. It goes up and down. I like that. What is he doing to you when he says go up and down, up and down? Well, oh, he's doing me things. Arapahoe County Social Services was called in to investigate almost three years ago. Sarah's father denied everything, and social workers noted he played well with the little girl. Sarah was interviewed by several psychologists and caseworkers. The official conclusion? Abuse was not substantiated. Case closed for social services, but not for Sarah or her mother. From back then all the way through, she has never, ever stopped talking about it. It's been explicit, detailed information. Sarah told her doctors, she told police, and she continued to tell social services therapists and caseworkers. But social services stood by its initial conclusion. Caseworkers reports say the mother was becoming obsessive and was pressuring the child. They told her to drop it. She tells these people, policemen, doctors, psychologists, social workers, who all have told her we're here to help you and no one has helped her. Well, the mother says she couldn't give up the fight and she asks what mother could. Well, three months ago, she lost not only the fight, she lost her child. The courts issued an order placing Sarah in the sole custody of her father. Because social services never substantiated the allegations of abuse, it's as if they didn't matter. Instead, the court focused on the parents' relationship. The judge accepted social services' recommendation that Sarah would be better off with the father because he'd cooperate with the mother, while she just wanted him out of Sarah's life. Now, the father declined to be interviewed on camera, but he denies doing anything wrong and says he loves his daughter and she loves him. But the questions continue. Sarah's new daycare provider told me the little girl says she's afraid to sleep in her bed at night. And they've called social services several times, but the agency has refused to come talk to the child. Now, by now, then, you're probably wondering how could social services have handled this case this way? And we'll get you some answers in tomorrow night's report. Is anything happening with the case right now? Yes. After we started uh, making our calls, doing our investigation, the district attorney's office and social services decided to uh, reopen the case and we'll have more on that tomorrow too. Okay, Julie, mm -hmm. thank you.